Hello, and welcome to this very special edition of Create a Life You Love. I believe everybody has a dharma, a purpose, that we either accidentally end up in, and there are no accidents, accidents, or we're on the journey there purposefully. <laughs> It's okay to laugh at me, girl. <laughs> laugh at me all the time. I have two extraordinary and special guests today from Sierra Medi Spa. Kelly and Alyssa are joining me to talk about their journey into aesthetics. And please stick with us because I think we're going to laugh a lot during this show today. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kelly and Alyssa, thank you so much for joining thank me here today. It's such an yes, honor to have you here. Yes, we're happy it's... to be here. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Kelly, you're a nurse. Yes. When did you know you wanted to be a nurse? I would say a long time, years, years, years ago, I knew I always wanted to help people. And that's mm -hmm. the basic answer you probably get from most nurses, that they want to help other people. Um, but I always had the passion. I was always the caring friend, the caring person, and I wanted to find a field where I'm not just, um, you know, sitting behind a desk, but being active and helping others in their day-to-day -day lives. Um, so years ago, I knew I wanted to get into it, so I'm glad that I found, found that and was able to go to school for that and end up in a field today that I truly, truly love. So when you first started, did you know you'd end up in aesthetics? Um, no. So nursing is great in that you can go so many different paths with it. Right. Um, so when I started yeah. nursing, I didn't know where I wanted to end up, but I knew it was a broad field and there's so many different directions you can take with it. And then as I went into different fields of nursing, I kind of put aside some that I knew weren't for me and then eventually found that aesthetics would be a great end point in my journey for nursing. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Alyssa, you're a medical assistant mm -hmm. and you also are an esthetician. So Correct. When did you know you wanted to be in the medical field? Same thing as Kelly. Um, I've always enjoyed helping people. Um, you know, actually, I started out as a medical assistant um, with Dr. John Youssef, um, and then I just really grew into this passion for aesthetics and beauty. Um, so I loved helping the patients there, um, make them feel good about themselves. So I really got into, like, the skin working with him. And um, it's constantly evolving, constantly changing. There's so mm -hmm. many things in the industry that we're in that is just growing. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many new things they're coming out with as far as, right. I mean, the beauty industry is just a great industry to be in. Oh, my gosh. It's, I mean, like you said, constantly growing and changing. And Yeah, and today's world, like, 50 years ago was so different than today's world is. Right. Being 50, even 20 years ago, you felt maybe old or whatever. Today, 50 is mm -hmm. like tw being 20, and you just want your outside to match what you feel sure. inside. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's, we love doing that for our, our patients mm -hmm. and our clients. Is you know, when they leave our facility, they feel pretty and they feel good. Yeah. You know, yeah. and we nice create friendships treat. with them as well, which I love. Yeah. You know, it's not just a walk-in patient and walk out. We spend time with them. We talk to them. They come to us and talk about mm -hmm. their life. And so that's what's really neat about what we do as well. Absolutely. It's great to work in a field where the patients are coming to you because they want to be there. Mm -hmm. um, especially being a nurse working in the hospital, a lot of times you're working with patients that have to be there because they're sick. Right. Um, so this is a totally different side of the spectrum that they're coming to you because they want to. And that's a whole different side of how great it, it truly feels to have oh. someone... Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Kelly, you do you do Botox. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you do Botox, but you do injectables, yes. Botox. Let's talk just, let's start with a little bit about Botox. Now, most people are familiar with sure. Botox. Sure. And there are a lot of different uses for Botox. So there's the cosmetic use. Mm -hmm. What's the most common thing people want to do with Botox. Sure. So I think a lot of people in today's world either know Botox and get Botox or are, they're on the other end of the spectrum where they have that misconception that it gives you that frozen fake look. Um, mm -hmm. So for the cosmetic side of things, our job as practitioners is to kind of enhance their natural beauty with the Botox versus in Hollywood where you see it where there's a lot of um, 
fake fake looks that get that misconception. Um, so when I'm sitting down with my patients, I'm just kind of taking that spiel about it as to enhancing their natural beauty um, and really just not changing their look, but really just kind of um, using it as a preventative measure um, so that they can stay looking young and fresh. Um, and there's many different places you can inject Botox. Uh, most common areas are between um, the forehead lines here, the 11 lines that a lot of people complain of, um, the forehead lines across horizontally, and then around the eyes. Those are the yeah. three most common places cosmetically that patients are getting Botox. I always say this wrong, but I know there's a way to inject Botox that literally makes you look like you've had an eye lift, mm -hmm. and it makes your eyelid, mm -hmm. your upper mm -hmm. lid, um, where we get this little drooping, see everybody, I have it, mm -hmm. don't do a close up on that please, because <laughs> I do have it, don't do it. Um, it pulls it up and it like uh, flattens it, out or yep, dissolves. Helps lift like, the eye. Yes, yep, exactly. and it's such a beautiful look. Something so little that makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah. It does, like, your like eyes say. are more open, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you look so much better, yes. Mm -hmm. And then, but there's another side of Botox that a lot of people don't know, and it's the medical side of Botox sure. for sure. migraines and... Yeah, so Botox can be used for migraines, it can be used for sweating. Um, there's many different implications for Botox. Yeah. Um, in our clinic, we do focus on the cosmetic side, um, but there are medical medical uses oh, as yeah, well. Yeah, there... So, Botox, even though uh, it, when it first came out, there were a lot of uh, many, many, many misconceptions. Sure. It's come a long way, and it's, mm -hmm. I think, just as common. I know more men mm -hmm. that Absolutely. use Botox now than... It's called Brotox. Brotox. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Men are definitely doing it. Yes. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of men that are, mm -hmm. and they deny it more than women do. So there's a lot of people in today's world that do Botox, they just don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's something that we should be talking about because it's only gonna help you feel more confident um, in your day-to-day -day life. And, exactly. and our faces are a huge part of and who I you are and too, how you present yourself, so. You know, as a preventative measure, I think it's great. I mean, women can start doing Botox in their late 20s or early 30s. I mean, because mm -hmm. you're gonna reduce those fine lines by starting early, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So. You know, you don't need to start later. We actually encourage patients to mm -hmm. start a little earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, so absolutely, as, I as preventative. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree because what creates the fine lines is the facial the repetitive. And if you never yep. get that mm -hmm. from getting Botox early, exactly, you don't get the fine lines. So, yeah. So one of the things that you do, and I actually am familiar with this procedure. It's called micro-needling. Correct. Can you explain what micro-needling is for people who may have never even heard of this process? Right. So it's a procedure that I do in the clinic and it's almost like little needles and what I do is I focus on areas of um, people that have fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it's really great for scarring. So someone that has acne scars um, even stretch marks it's great on. So what it does is oh, it almost damages your skin in a way to help it reproduce that collagen mm -hmm. as a fighting mechanism to repair itself. So it's really great for, like I said, somebody that has those fine lines and wrinkles. Um, so it's a procedure that um, it usually takes about 45 minutes. Um, I have some great results with it. I like to see patients every four to six weeks to keep going. Um, so how often, so the first, is it the first three treatments are four to six weeks, and then after those first three, do they continue to do you four to You can keep six continuing weeks? it as long as you're seeing the results mm -hmm. until you achieve the results that you're looking for. Okay. So like I said, I'd say, um, you know, one treatment, you're not going to see great results. We want you to come back every, you know, four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. But I say about three to four treatments, you're really going to see those results right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, microneedling is really good for you because it's it has a, the benefit like you said of helping your skin rebuild rejuvenate itself mm -hmm. and the collagen mm -hmm. which at a certain age and point slows down exactly right so if you're anything you do that can help bring that production back absolutely is very powerful for your skin I mean we do it too mm -hmm. you know as a preventative for one, but also it just makes your skin feel so rejuvenated. It's it's great for your skin. You just have a glow about your skin af after you do it. Mm -hmm. And I do have a friend who's a little bit addicted to microneedling. Okay. And it's okay. <laughs> She's actually done 
um, her buttocks for the stretch marks. Okay. I'm not going to say her name. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> we we'll never do that. I've never done it on my butt, but yeah, okay. <laughs> and her above her knees, and then right. of course the face and neck area. You can do it anywhere. Honestly, we've we've done it. I've seen patients that had stretch marks on the back of their legs. Mm -hmm. um, so we've done treatments on those areas. Um, it can work anywhere. You know, women's stomachs after having children, you know, you're going to have those stretch marks. Um, but it really does produce that collagen to kind of minimize those those lines. Yeah. And she, I'm going to tell you, she looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Any place that she has this done, she looks absolutely amazing. I'm trying to make up a name for her in my head, but every time I make up a name, it's her name. <laughs> no, oh, okay. it's somebody I actually know. I oh, know right. somebody by right. that name. Yeah. We're going to say Shantae. Shantae, yes. Shantae. Shantae looks amazing. Absolutely. Her face is always glowing. Glowing, right. Her, and mm -hmm. where she's had it, even done on her knees. It's mm -hmm. just a beautiful, beautiful look. It's a great service. Very common at Sierra yes. Medispa. Mm -hmm. And... You know, I've seen pictures of many girls after they have the needling, and it looks like it would be really painful, but it's really not. It's really not painful. It's not. I like to say it feels almost slightly like a sunburn afterwards. Mm -hmm. It Yes, it does. It yes, does. it does. And you're a little red. I would say 24 to 48 hours a little red, but you can go about your day. I mean, when a you leave, you can, you can go to the grocery store. You're not yeah. going to look like, right. you know, ridiculous. Exactly. Slightly red, but... No. Definitely able to go back to work if you need to. There's really no downtime. Now, microneedling is also the same process, the same uh, thing, I think, if I'm getting this correctly. If I'm not, please do correct me. There's a certain star out there. Oh, yes, that she calls does. it the vampire or the blood facial. That's is that, a little different. Is that different? Okay. So you're with the vampire facial, which we're actually talking about incorporating at Sierra. Mm -hmm. um, you're actually drawing blood from the okay. patient, and you're taking their or their plate platelets, their, their plasma, plasma mm -hmm. and you're using that as a topical serum as you, you microneedle. Right. Okay. Gotcha. So gotcha. it's like a growth factor. Kind of yeah. makes it stimulates a little bit more. So that's the vampire that's, facial because mm -hmm. you're thinking blood. You're taking your blood and putting it on your, the face. On your face. But it's so. really the plasma. It's the plasma. Which rejuvenates even more. Right. Helps to rejuvenate. And I will say that sounds very, very scary. And a lot of people might turn it off on for beauty. But it's really, <laughs> yeah. it's really not. It's, it's not. And it actually, it's supposed to have some really amazing results, which is why a lot of people in Hollywood are, are doing, doing it a lot more. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we're actually talking about incorporating that at Sierra, which, yeah. which is exciting. exciting. We're excited yes. about that. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Next, we're going to go over to Kelly again, sure. and we're going to talk about injectables. Now, there, sure. when injectables first came out, mm -hmm. and talking about like lip injections or other types of injections, they all I can say is I know they've come they've come a really long way mm -hmm. since they first. Um, been introduced on the market. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about the injectables that are offered by you and Sierra sure. and where you might put them for someone and what those results would, sure. what, what results would be accomplished. Okay. So first of all, a lot of people that don't, aren't very educated on injectables confuse Botox and fillers and think that they're the same in one. So Botox would be a neuromodulator, so that's when you're relaxing the muscle, and that's where we're filling those wrinkles and, you know, our, we're helping the muscle to relax so that we don't have those lines in our foreheads that we discussed before. But then the fillers, those are used to kind of fill those deep lines in the face, and they're also used to, as we age, we lose a lot of volume in our mid face, so it tends to drop some, so we can fill the mid face area. Gravity. Uh, <laughs> yep, so gravity shuts mm. down, and uh, we can fill the mid face, mm. we can fill, you know, even if there's really deep lines down here, that Botox is going to. Are you looking at me right to. now? <laughs> oh, oh, no. I think you so look great. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going, sorry. No, that's okay. And then lip fillers are um, more and more popular nowadays, especially too, so um, fill Fillers in the face and in the lips, and there's a lot, a lot of patients that are coming in for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know that one of the things that it's called like mannequin mouth or man, where we get these lines oh. here mm -hmm. and then these lines here, and you, it it's kind of smiling, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then your skin does 
start to uh, fall a little sure. bit. Mm -hmm. So those fillers can be put in these lines. Absolutely, very literally. common area. Mm -hmm. But one of my friends, not the same friend, a different <laughs> friend, <laughs> went in recently, and she normally gets the fillers here and here, sure. which are amazing and make her look like it just smooths out mm -hmm. your face and gives you that youthful look. But now they're, they're putting it up here mm -hmm. to pull like that apple cheek again. Yep. So mm -hmm. what would that, how does that result? Um, differ. I mean, I, sure. I suppose I just said it, but I want well, more. Well, those are the, that's going to be the mid face injection. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Yusuf, who I trained with throughout um, learning about all the facial anatomy, facial aging, was one of the first people that talked about that mid face descent, and that's what creates yes. that nasal labial fold there. So if we fill here, it presses up on the cheek so it kind of gets rid of that fold in the nasal labial lines and Dr. Yusuf does a ton of papers and speeches around the world and that's one of the main things that he kind of talked about first um, so that's a huge thing that a lot of people are getting as well as that mid-face um, filler. Mm -hmm. Awesome yeah. and then for lips so many people are afraid to get their lips filled because mm -hmm. they're afraid they're going to be too big. I just don't think lips can be too big. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I don't. That's personal, but everybody has a different opinion on that. But there are one thing that I've learned is even if, if you go in and you get that filler in your lip, which, again, is a youthful, uh, a, more, a little bit more of a youthful or a fresher look, mm -hmm. even if it does get overfilled or you get something done, there's now something they can inject to dissolve mm -hmm. a little bit of the filler mm -hmm. so that it's not... If just, you know, that safety if you're hesitant or nervous about it. Right. I think one thing we do at Sierra, too, is really go for that natural look. Mm -hmm. I think Kelly and Dr. Yusuf are known for that. Is They don't want to make you look different. And usually right. when we are doing any type of filler, mm -hmm. they'll start off small, mm -hmm. in, in smaller portions. You know, because I think it's better to start that way. Um, we don't want to make somebody look right. You don't want to change the overall look of. We just want to give you a refresher. Just enhance and I think their beauty. You don't want to change the shape exactly. of the lip. You just want to enhance what they already have. Right. Mm -hmm. And I I do agree with that. I think that there's a way to, just just a, a little bit sometimes can go a long yeah, way. Absolutely. Exactly. But for people who really do want that look. Mm -hmm. That's okay Some people too, do. Mm -hmm. and right. they do, and I think that's beautiful too. Mm -hmm. I, like I said, and I don't know why <laughs> the I bigger like, the better. <laughs> I love those really plump lips. Like certain ethnicities have really yes. nice lips, and I look at them, I'm like, oh, what would that look like on me? <laughs> No, no, not, 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 as, not as good, but still, I just love that um, very plump, plump uh, lip. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to you, and yes. I'm going to ask you about IPL. IPL, so that's intense pulse light. Okay. So what that is, and it's very common at Sierra, um, it's going to target, um, you know, spider veins or um, sun damage. So a lot of patients will come in with extended capillaries, so you have, like, some redness in your face, um, and that can happen with age um, or sun damage. A lot of patients will come in, you know, they spent a lot of time in the sun, so they have those dark hyperpigmentation areas on their face or even their chest or neck. Um, actually, we just saw a patient who had a lot of sun damage on her chest, and we're working on that, and it's, it's really coming along nice, mm -hmm. getting rid of that. Yeah, that was a great result. A great result with that. Mm -hmm. So it, what it does is it kind of targets that dark pigment underneath the skin and breaks it up. So it's going to really help with getting rid of any redness um, or, or sun damage. Mm -hmm. And you can, of course, use that on different parts of the body. Absolutely. Also. Mm -hmm. Anywhere like, on the skin. Mm -hmm. Any place on the skin. Amazing. Most wonderful. commonly, I would say it's the chest or the face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. And um, I know that both of you are now doing medical weight loss. We are very so, excited about that. <laughs> uh, whoever would like to go first, tell me what exactly is medical weight loss and I want to say everybody you know we we want our face to be a pretty refreshed young looking mm -hmm. but our body is such a challenge and food is so emotional mm -hmm. like for people if you tell people you can't have this or you mm -hmm. can't have that 
they're right away going to, that's the only thing on their mind. Right. Right. And people, like weddings, they don't even talk about the dress anymore. They talk more about the food mm -hmm. than, sure. so food is a very emotional, and eating is very emotional. So let's talk a little bit about this and how it can help people, because I'm really passionate mm -hmm. about people not only having the life they want, but the, the look that they want. Because if you're happy with the way you look mm -hmm. and feel, the quality of your life is going to be so much better. Right. So what is medical weight loss? So medical weight loss is really um, diet counseling, um, fitness counseling, overseen by a medical provider. So a lot of people think medical weight loss is um, getting surgery done, but it's really just sitting down with these individuals, figuring out what their individual struggles are when it comes to food, their schedule, their sleep schedule, um, if they have time to exercise, and figuring out how we can realistically change their overall lifestyle. Um, and then a lot of times they do use um, supplements, which would be we have injections, we have medications that we can supplement and help if they need that extra little um, crutch to help them get the desired results. So when you say we have injections, what mm -hmm. are the injections one would use mm -hmm. in a medical weight loss program if that's what they want? Now, it's not necessary, but right. it's something they can add to it. What would those injections be? Um, those are the B12 injections, if you wanted to so, cover them. So um, anybody can do the injections, and it's um, basically in the deltoid and the muscle. And what it is is it's a combination. We have B12 and then lipotropic. So B12 is that vitamin that we all need. Um, it helps with sleep regulation. It helps with your metabolic rate. Um, it gives you energy. Mm -hmm. So it's a great source of all those things. Um, so like I said, anybody can um, use that injection. Mm -hmm. And it, so it's really good for weight loss as well because the lipotropic component has those um, amino acids that helps break down fat in the liver. Mm -hmm. So that's really going to help, again, with the weight loss component. So mm -hmm. um, it's an awesome um, add-on or just something that anybody can do. Mm -hmm. Kelly and I do them once a week, and that's, that's what we recommend once a week mm -hmm. um, to really get the best results from it. Mm -hmm. So um, you can, anybody can do it. It's great. And not, you don't need to be on the weight loss program to do the B12, no. obviously looking at the two of you, right. <laughs> beautiful bodies, oh, okay. so you don't need, but you can just do it as to get that supplement. Kind of I just deal. like taking a multivitamin at home, it's it just, is. just another way to get the vitamins in, but it's going straight to your bloodstream. So, so it's a little better mm -hmm. way of doing it, is injecting into, into that muscle. Mm -hmm. so. I agree 100%. Absolutely. And it's actually becoming a really popular thing in a lot of places, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, come, we, come yeah, try. Come try it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, now there are several different types of weight loss programs that you offer. What are some of the types? Mm -hmm. uh, so we have um, HCG injections, which is a hormone that you inject, that our patients would inject at home themselves once a day. And it's kind of a controversial diet. Um, there's many people out there that are talking about it. Um, so the injection itself allows your body to sustain to a very low calorie diet um, of around five to 800 calories per day, which sounds very extreme. Um, so this is a short term solution. These, this is suggested for more of our patients that have a lot of weight to lose to kind of get the motivation that they can do it, they can lose weight. And then what we would do after this program usually is transition them to our fentermine program, which is our most common program. Um, it's a medication, you take it once a day. Fentermine is an appetite suppressant and a stimulant, so it helps people to control their hunger so that they're able to make healthier choices when it comes to food. And then the stimulant portion gives them more energy so that they can be more active in their day, get to the gym. Um, so those are the two main programs that we offer, which the B12 you can do alongside either of those programs as an extra little boost. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And then people can come in and they can customize what they want. What would that mm -hmm. look like? customizing a program. Well, when we customize, basically what we're doing is we're, we always do a free consultation for any patient that's interested in, interested in the weight loss program. And we do that because we want to know that person's, you know, um, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, do they like to work out? If they like to work out, we're not going to put them on the HCG diet because, because it's, you know, low, low calorie. calorie. Mm -hmm. You can't be doing extensive working out. So we want to know their lifestyle. We want to know how much weight they want to lose. Is this for a wedding? Is this, you know something that they're doing just for an event. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to kind of see what they're looking for, their ultimate goal. What their goals are, yeah. And then we can customize the program, you know, suitable for what those needs are. Mm -hmm. 
And I, so during a consultation, when somebody comes in, you sit down, you ask them all the questions, mm -hmm. you go over everything, and that's when you customize their program for them or help them right. customize a program that will work for them? Yeah, so I would sit them down and get their full history, health, um, history. health history, to see if they have any medical issues. We do a blood draw, we do an EKG, making sure that they don't have thyroid problems, cholesterol problems, other things that can be contributing to why or, you know, the reason of why they're overweight. And so we kind of target that overall. We're not just looking to help them lose five pounds and not care about their overall health. Right, we work we with do, the diet plan as well. Yeah, we, we customize things for the individuals. Um, so I sit down and see what their current diet is from a day-to-day -day basis, and then we find a realistic transition to see what we can do um, to improve each week or every other week when we, they come into the office. We really want the results mm -hmm. to be long-term. We want them to walk away from SEER with mm -hmm. a new outlook on, on life, on food, on you know dieting. So. Right. It's really what we're focused on. Yeah, so we don't just hand them a diet plan and say, eat this and we good luck. We work with you. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, one thing I truly, I think it has to become a, a new way of life to, exactly. if they want to sustain right. their results. Right. Exactly. We if want they, sustainable results. Sometimes exactly. people are like, I just, you know, my daughter's getting married, so I need to get into this dress. Right. Or sometimes it's, they don't care just except for this event. But mm -hmm. for the most part, people, once they're there, they want to be able to stay there. So right. having those logical diet plans or eating mm -hmm. way of eating mm -hmm. is really good for them. Mm -hmm. So how long... Can, is somebody normally on the program? Dependable, you know, it's, yeah. it's all about, like I said. We work um, with the individual, so whether they're on it for a month or multiple months, and if they're continuing to see results, we'll work with the individual. So mm -hmm. that just depends on what their goals are and how much help and assistance they need to get to that goal. Some people don't need to stay on the program until they hit their goal, as long as we give them the tools that they need. Um, then they can continue to be successful. And patients can come to us even if they don't even want to be on a medication. Mm -hmm. If they just need some guidance, we can guide them in the right direction. You mm -hmm. don't necessarily have to come to us and say, hey, we want to be on you know, one of the medications. We can work with you and just, you can come in weekly and we can talk about For you know, diet and activity diet counseling. And activity counseling. Mm -hmm. So that's another um, you know, thing that we can do as well. And with the programs, how um, how I don't want to say quickly because everybody wants a quick fix, but what, uh, uh, how quick or when do people start to see results typically if they're following the program? Sure. So within the HCG diet, you lose weight very quickly on that low calorie diet. So you'd lose, you know, a pound or two per day even on that diet for some people. The fentramine diet, on the other hand, um, that just depends. depends. I mean, yeah. some people lose a couple pounds in a week. I don't want you to lose 10 pounds because that just tells me you're starving yourself and that's not our goal. And that's not healthy. Um, so you, you don't want to lose weight. It's, it's going to be more sustainable as you lose mm -hmm. weight slower. Right. So um, we do like to see you every week or every two weeks, depending on how often the patient can come in but we monitor we, we check your BMI mm -hmm. we check your water weight mm -hmm. um, so we have an, an awesome scale mm -hmm. that really is detailed when it comes to that so we can really you know work with that patient on on their numbers and whatnot mm -hmm. My gosh, you guys, thank you so much. We've covered so much today. Yes. So I want to, it's been such an honor and so much fun having you on. Mm -hmm. Thank you again. Um, and again, uh, you're with Sierra Meda Spa Correct. in Mequon. So if anybody is interested in Botox, injectables, microneedling, microneedling. Uh, <laughs> or weight uh, programs from yes. head to toe, you guys can yes. cover them. One stop yes. But yeah. <laughs> so we like to see them so and yes. happy yeah. and 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 you know, you guys do work with Dr. John Yosef, who's yes. an amazing doctor who can. If somebody wants something a little bit more extensive, we do plastic surgery, right? They can do that Absolutely. also, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so one stop shop is one right. Yes. It <laughs> is for that. For All your that. beauty needs. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. I look forward to the next episode of Create a Life You Love. Until then, blessings.